Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kara Sundland. Joe Biden's big comeback on Super Tuesday has knocked Mike Bloomberg out of the race. The former New York mayor, Bloomberg, endorsed Biden, saying he believed there was no viable path to the nomination. Aides say Senator Elizabeth Warren is reassessing her campaign and will have more to say in the coming days. The two-man race continues next Tuesday when a half a dozen states will go to the polls. Here in the U.S., there are now 130 confirmed cases of the coronavirus and nine deaths in Washington state. Among the latest victims to come down with the virus, a family in New York. The governor of New York announced today that the family and a neighbor of a lawyer originally diagnosed with the disease are now infected worldwide. There are now more than 92,000 cases. More than 3,200 people have died, mostly in mainland China. So far, there are no confirmed cases here in Connecticut. A man accused of hitting two Manchester court marshals with a car and then taking off has been officially charged. 42-year-old Jose Lopez faces several assault charges as well as reckless endangerment charges, and he's being held on $1.5 million bond. Lopez was found at a motel in Chicopee, Massachusetts, and sources tell Eyewitness News one court-martial identified as Martin Brown remains in critical condition now. The other sergeant, Michael West, returned to work yesterday. All right, and weather-wise, as expected, behind the cold front, it is colder or cooler, I should say, relatively speaking, to yesterday when we had highs in the 60s today, low 50s, and the wind at times gusting between 30 and 40 miles an hour. Uh, as we head into the day tomorrow for our Thursday, lots of bright sunshine. Uh, temperatures top out near 50. It's going to be breezy, not as windy as today. Then later Friday, as clouds increase, we'll see a chance for some rain that could end as some light snow, nothing too meaningful, perhaps a coating to an inch across far. Inland Connecticut, windy and chilly on Saturday, back into the mid-50s on Sunday.